Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY for you guys and it's a DIY for bookmarks and if you're an avid reader like me or you're going back to school or you just want to make a bookmark. But if you are going back to school and you have to read books for school or you just like are marking chapters from your textbooks, this is a great DIY for you. So I show you guys four different bookmarks that you can make, all kind of the same thing, and you can switch them and make them your own. So these are some of the bookmarks that you will be seeing in the DIY. I just thought I'd show you guys a little preview. So if you guys want to learn how to do these DIYs, just continue on watching. <laughs> this first DIY you're going to need some construction paper, glue, pencil, scissors, and a ruler. So the first thing you're going to decide is what color you want to use on your ice cream cone and I chose yellow for the cone and pink for the ice cream. So starting with the color paper that you're going to use for your cone, what you're going to do is make three boxes and they should be three inches in width and length so you can get them all even. And then in from the corner you're going to make a box on top and a box on the side if that makes any sense. If not, you will see in the video. With something that looks like this. Now what you're going to do is in the middle of the two boxes on each side that I'm pointing at right now, you're going to make a diagonal line straight through the middle. So next take out your scissors and I'm tracing the line with my scissors right now as you can see to show you where to cut. So all you're going to do is cut that out. So hopefully you ended up with something that looks like this and if you fold each corner down it'll make a perfect square and that's how you're going to slip it on to your book. So now I'm taking that square and I'm going to lay the middle of it with the bottom of the paper that I'm going to use for my ice cream and I'm going to trace it out just so I know how big I need to make my ice cream. So here I am showing you guys the picture that I'm trying to go off of and all you're going to do is just try and draw the shape of the ice cream. When you're finished, it should look something like this. Just go ahead and make it your own. It doesn't have to be necessarily the exact same picture, but I am going to leave links down below to the pictures that I did use just in case you want to copy them as well. But next, all you're going to do is cut it out. So next, taking some scrap pieces of colorful paper, I'm going to cut them out in little tiny strips to act as sprinkles. Now just go ahead and take out your glue and glue on your sprinkles. And here I just drew on a little face on my ice cream cone. Next, take out the paper that's going to act as your cone and fold the first flap down and put some glue on it and then glue the next flap down on top. I'm hurting, baby. I'm broken down. Next, I'm taking out a brown marker and my ruler, and I'm going to start drawing lines on the ice cream cone to act as the ridges on the cone. Next, take your ice cream and just glue him on the top part of the triangle, and you want to make sure that you don't get glue on the inside of that flap because that's what you're going to use to slide it onto your book. For this 
Mix DIY, you're going to need the same materials as the previous DIY, and it may look a little harder, but I assure you it's super easy. So all you're going to do is cut strips out as long as you want, determining on how long you want the bookmark to be, about a half an inch apart. I'm going to do the same thing in another color. So in total, you will have four strips, two white, two blue, or two whatever colors that you want. So now you should have four strips that look like this, and this is part it's going to be kind of hard to explain, but you're going to take the same colored two strips, in my case I'm taking the white ones, and I'm going to glue the tips of them together like so, and you'll see in a minute. And then right next to that strip, I'm going to glue the blue one. Don't let nobody touch it unless that somebody's me. I gotta be a man. Taking the last strip, you're going to glue it down over the two that you just glued down, as you'll see me doing here. Now, taking your, the first right strip that I'm pointing at, you're going to fold it over and line it up against the blue strip on the other side, and then you're going to do the same thing to the white one on the other side and just keep repeating this process over and over until you get down to the bottom. Now once that you're at the end, you can take the ends of them and fold them towards the back and just glue them down. This last step is optional, but if you want to add a ribbon to your bookmark, all you're going to do is puncture a hole at the top, thread it through, and then knot it at the top. DIY, you're going to need construction paper, a hot glue gun, paper clips, pencil, scissors, glue stick, and a ruler. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to be terrible at explaining this, but I'm going to try my best. So you're going to take a white piece of paper and cut out two circles and then glue them together. The circle should be around a quarter size. <laughs> So unfortunately my camera did cut out when I was drawing his hair on, but it should look something like this. You can totally make it your own hair, but this is what I just did. Next, taking some yellow paper, what you're going to do is make two rectangles. The first one is going to be about an inch long and half an inch wide, and the other one will be half an inch wide as well, but you're going to cut it a little shorter than one inch. some red paper what you're going to do is cut out small little squares and glue them onto it to act as the stripes on the scarf once you are finished with the scarf go ahead and glue it on so you're going to take the longer part and glue it right on the bottom of the head and then take the smaller piece and glue it onto the back and you'll see here in a second how I do it Next, take an orange sharpie and just draw on his little jagged scar. Next, just take out a black sharpie and draw on his glasses. Next, all you're going to do is hot glue it and you're done. cup DIY you're going to need the same materials as before and I'm showing you right here the outline of the cup that you're going to need to cut out and you're going to need out cut to cut out two of each and glue them together just so the bookmark is more sturdier and in the end I, I use the pink to use as the top of the cup the first 
first top cut out, um, what you're going to do is glue the cup part down to it and then you're going to glue the other top part on top of that. If that makes any sense, you'll see in the video. Even if they judge, get out, do the time. I just wanna... so this step is optional, but what I did was take black strips of black paper and I just glued them on to make stripes. Next, take the same color as your top and cut out a rectangle and glue it across your cup just kind of as like the coffee cup holder. So all I did was take a sharpie and draw polka dots up at the top, but now what you're going to do is take your hot glue gun and glue it down to a paper clip. We're cool for the summer. And I ended up making a whole bunch of different bookmarks and you should try it too because it's really fun and get creative with it. Make every type of bookmark you can think of. I really hope you guys like this DIY. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any DIYs you guys would like me to try out because I'm really into doing these DIY videos. So much for watching. If you're new viewers, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for new videos and also I am writing a book on Wattpad called American Runaways which I will leave a link down below if you guys want to go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.